I choose iPhone. Your iPhone is no match for our footage tool. iPhone, apply baseband update. Presenting iPhone 3G S. Bonage tool, come back! I choose you, Red Snow! Red Snow, use jailbreak! Oh. Ultra Snow, use unlock! You wait till next June. Oh, that was good snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Pox. And I'm Raggable. And this is iPhone hacking episode 10. 10. 10. And today we're going to be jailbreaking and unlocking the iPhone 3GS. The so, new one. Yeah. Pretty much the Dev same. Dev team has done it again. Yeah. Released Red Snow for the 3GS, jailbreak it, and they updated. They actually had to update Ultra Snow. Yes. They had to update Ultra Snow um, because somebody else released another jailbreak method. And no, no, no they, up, they updated Ultra Snow because the way it was, it didn't work on the 3GS. Right. So, so something different. They had yeah. to update for it. Anyways, here's the process. First thing that you need to do before you do anything with your 3GS is what? You need to get these two specially created files that are generated when you do a recovery on your iPhone. Right. So and you need to put your phone into DFU mode, okay. connect it, and do a restore. Do a restore. And, and while, while it's doing this, yes, pull up the terminal and, and type in this long ass command. And what this is doing is it's uh, iterating over the temp file. Uh, like every you know, 0.1 seconds looking for these two files and once it finds it, it'll copy it over to a directory because once iTunes is done doing its restore, it will delete those files. So, and these files, did we already mention that you, you need them? Yeah, you need them. For future yeah, jailbreak yeah, so, ability, yeah. you need them. Let me say that you need them. Yeah. Anyways, back to that. <laughs> yeah, you need them. For future yeah, jailbreak yeah, so, ability, yeah. you need them. Let me say that you need them. Yeah. Anyways, back to that. <laughs> On the right snow, open it up. First thing you do, locate your IPSW file for 3.0. Make sure you have at least one of those installed. <laughs> I'd recommend Cydia. And then you need to put your phone into a recovery mode. Open completely shut off. One, two, three, four, five. And then hold down the home button and then plug it in. Okay. To your computer. And keep holding down home until the little iTunes image appears and you know, on the iPhone. On the iPhone. So after the Apple logo disappears, there'll be a little little iTunes the logo with a little, wanting to connect to it. Yeah. Then you'll be in the mode necessary for the next step. So Red Snow will detect your iPhone connected in this other DFU mode. A recovery mode. A recovery mode. Yeah. And Red Snow will do its thing. It'll uh, run its little exploit and. Then on your iPhone, you get the pineapple. Yeah, the little running pineapple. It's being po it's being pwned. pwned. Yeah, gotcha. Installing his little bundles, a little custom. And then after that, you have a jailbroken 3GS. Yeah, you can run Cydia. And when you run Cydia, you can download Ultra Snow and unlock the thing. Okay, and how do you do that? Well, you simply add the repository, just like in the previous episode. Repo is 666.ultrasnow.com. No O, it's a zero. Search for Ultra Snow, install the package, and then after this, insert you can, your SIM card. Yeah, you can take out that old SIM card, chop it up, snort it, uh, <laughs> pop, <laughs> pop your new one into your iPhone. Uh, previously, I mean, after installing Ultra Snow, you just had to turn the phone off and back on, you're good to right. go. But on 3GS, they're recommending that you go in and you reset the network settings. Okay. So that's something different prior to the. Th and also, if most carriers here aren't compatible 3G, so you gotta turn <laughs> off your 3G. Doesn't matter to us. Yeah. And then, then power off your phone, power cycle your phone. Turn it back on. And ta-da, you Yay! have, uh, in Wyoming here we have Union. So now you need to go in and you need to turn on data roaming and add your APN for your carrier. And here in your Wyoming, MMS. Yes, you have MMS, Woohoo! So you can put on your MMS settings. Hit or miss. 
works for him, not for me. The other cool thing you do with the 3.0 is you can do tethering now. Yes. And that is done through a website. Uh, yes, what you're essentially doing is generating a carrier information file or settings file, configuration file. It's kind of like a profile. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you so, can go to this website and uh, generate one for your specific uh, carrier and uh, you should be good to go for tethering after that. Yes, yeah, so just note, um, you could get charged overage or get kicked off the network for should overusing this. It? <laughs> yes, so be careful. Especially if you're on the 3G network. Even more. <laughs> All right, have fun with your jailbroken 3GS. All right, so there we go. Yeah, it's just pretty much the same last seven videos. There's a couple, couple of extra steps Red in there. Red Snow is a little bit different. Um, getting that DFU mode to work is a little bit trickier because it doesn't give you the on-screen prompts, but You've done it already before if you've watched the other videos, so. <laughs> Should be good to go. And if yeah. not, always, you know, check out the forums. Ask for help. People might still be there. <laughs> TwoSmartGuys.com, T-O-O, SmartGuys.com. Dot com. And uh, subscribe to the feed. You can follow us on Twitter. I'm Walking Crow, you Raggable. <laughs> you don't want to be followed. I don't exist. <laughs> Which defeats the whole point of Twitter. <laughs> Uh, see you guys next time. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. Your iPhone is no match for our opponent's tool. <laughs> there you go, that's good. <laughs> Presenting iPhone 3G S. Uh, purple passion. Pansy. Why do the anime characters all have the same voices? <laughs>